Aha! Hi everyone and welcome to Dr. Jankil's lectures. For those who don't know who I am, my name is Naphan Jankil and I am a registered pharmacist. I do my best to simplify lectures, make them easy to understand and really enjoyable. In addition to that, I do also have an Instagram page called Dr. Jankil's lectures as well. For this Instagram page, I do post everyday quizzes related to daily uh, lectures that you take in your pharmacy school, also related to NAPLEX, CPJE, guideline updates, and I have received many positive feedback from students and pharmacists as well telling me that these quizzes have helped them keep the information fresh in their brain in addition to that keep this information up to date so if you haven't considered please subscribe to my youtube channel in addition to that please follow my instagram page as well so without further ado let's get into today's lecture so today's lecture is about percentage strength so what is percentage strength percentage strength is basically the percent of a product in the whole amount and it goes from a percent of one to 100 so let's look into an example. So let's see, let's say that we have a product A. Product A is 10% of the total of the total amount. What this means is basically product A has 10%. So let's say the total amount is over here and there is, it's going always to be 100% total amount. Okay. And there is 10%. So it means that there are 10 parts of this 100, and these 10 parts are product A. And you see this maybe when you're going picking up a prescription, pick another a product from your pharmacy. You see that is there is always a percent on a medication over the counter medication that says 2%, 5%, 10%. But what it means is basically that there is the percent of the product, the main product ingredients in that whole total amount. And how will you see this? Basically, the way you will be able to see this, let's say on a questions during a classroom or you're, if you're studying for NAPLEX or CPJE, the, you will, the way you will see this, it's in two ways. So number one, it's either you're going to see this just like taking the example A, let's say product A again, 10%. So you will see it in this way. So this is one way. Second way, you may see it as 10. So product A again, 10 out of 100. It's still the same thing. It's percentage. 10% or 10 out of 100 is still the same thing. So these are the two ways. Usually, this is how you will see it in exam. This is the most common way that you will see it. And this is also another possible way to see it. Yet, this is more common if you're studying for exam or classes, but just keep in mind this also can come in this way as well. So, what are the types of percentage strength? So, there are actually three types. So, looking at this, type number one is percent weight in volume. And this is expressed as weight is W, so percent W over V, V for volume. Number two is percent weight in weight. And this is expressed as percent weight in weight. So percent W over W. And then third type is basically percent volume in volume. And just like the other, it's going to be percent V over V. So these, these are the three types of percentage strength. And the way they are expressed, they're basically expressed in this ways. You will always see them W and V 
W for weight, V for volume. So the way they go is that, let's say we go back to our example, product A. So let's say product A is 10%, just like we said. So in this case, it's going to be, if we know, something to keep in mind is I'll always look at the question, see what is it mixed, is it a volume or is it a weight? So in this case, let's assume that it's actually a weight to volume, okay, a weight in volume. So in this case, it's going to be 10. Weight is always, keep in mind, weight is always in grams. V volume is always in milliliters. This is always the case, not necessarily how the question will be given to you, because the question can give you the professor, or let's say you're taking your NAPLEX exam, they may give you milligram, so instead of grams, they may give you milligram or microgram. And instead of milliliter, you may also see a liters. So you do always need to convert so you can match the units with each with the denominator as well. So this is how it gets ex uh, expressed. Something to keep in mind. So in this case, we said 10%, right? So it's going to be 10 over 100. So no one looking at this over here, the reason I have start this and written in red is because it's really important for you to know if it's written in volume or if it's in weight because the units are different. They're not the same, grams to milliliter. So in here we know it's volume. So we know this is the denominator that's going to be milliliter. And over here, it's gonna be in grams because it's in weight. So always keep in mind and understand what is it they're asking. And usually a good hint in the question is that they usually tell you like, hey, what is, the, what is the volume concentration volume of final product or what is the weight in grams? So this is a good hint for you to know if they're asking for a gram or milliliter. So one thing that I wanna make sure that you understand that always the denominator is always 100. So if it's, let's say, weight, percent weight, in weight, it's going to be percent weight, depending if it's 10%, 5%, 2%, over 100 grams. If it's percent volume in volume, it's going to be percent volume over 100 milliliter. And if it's percent weight in volume, it's going to be just like over here, grams over milliliters. So it's going to be percent weight over 100 milliliter. So it's very important to keep in mind that the denominator is always 100, whether if it's grams or milliliters. Now, in practice, what are the common fluid used when it comes into percentage strength? So there are two common fluids that are always used. And these are number one is the normal saline. So normal saline, which is weight and volume, it's basically expressed as 0.9% NS. And the reason why it's normal saline because it's really close to the body, the normal, uh, normal of the body as a solution. So over here, we have normal saline, which is weight in volume. So going back over here, how, we're, how are you gonna express this basically as 0 0.9, and we know it's weight, so it's gonna be gram. Volume, so it's gonna be, we know it's always 100, and because it's volume, so it's gonna be milliliter. So it's 0 0.9 gram over 100 milliliter. And there are two types for normal saline. There is half saline, and quarter saline. So half saline is basically dividing 0 0.9 by two. So dividing 0 0.9 by two, that is 0.45% normal. Or actually, it's not. So NaCl, sodium chloride, that's what it is. And then the other type is basically quarter of that. So quarter of that is basically 
dividing this over 4 or this over 2. So let's say this over 2, it's going to be 0 0.225 sodium chloride. So this is half saline. Okay, so another way, uh, let me express this in a different ways. So this would be half normal saline and this would be quarter normal saline. The second fluid that is used in practice is actually D5W. What it means is that 5% dextro is in water. So for every 100 milliliter of water, there is 5% dextrose, sugar, basically. And the third, the third option in fluid is basically combination. What is a combination? It's basically a combination of one and two. So a combination of normal saline and D5W. And they, they come in two different ways. So there is D5NS, which is 5% dextrose with normal saline, which is 0.9% in water. And the second option is basically D5, 5% dextrose with half normal saline. So it's composed of 5% of dextrose with half normal saline. So in this case, it's going to be 5% dextrose with, we can do 0.45% normal saline in water. So these are the, th uh, the three different types of fluid. However, I, do I haven't seen the combination used a lot. Most commonly I see normal saline or D5W and really it depends on patients condition, their situation, why they are in the hospital, what they are treated for. So depending on all these factors, um, either one of these two solution or maybe a third one even could be used. So this is it for this lecture. I wanna thank you so much for your attention and uh, if you have any question, please leave them in the comments below. And as always, thank you for watching.